أرسلناك إلا رحمة للعالمين. السلام عليكم. Today, insha Allah, we will learn about another battle known as the Battle of Hunain. The Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam remained in Mecca for around nineteen days. The tremendous victory of Islam over the Quraysh and the large amount of converts to Islam at the conquest of Mecca amazed the disbelievers and led many tribes to Islam. There was one major center left, and that was Taif. Taif was a city that expelled, tortured, and pelted Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam with stones. Hawazin and Thaqif were the dominant tribes from the lush fortified city of Taif, who were not happy at the victory of the Muslims in Mecca. These pagan tribes watched in horror that the ending of idolatry was drawing near. However, Hawazin were the old enemies of the Quraysh. The submission of the Quraysh to the rising power of Islam had made them undisputed champions of paganism. Now they began to harbor hopes of bringing the Muslims to their knees and to build their fame upon the declining status of the Quraysh. So they plotted with other pagan leaders and decided to battle against the Muslims. For this reason, Thaqif sent out as many emissaries as they could. Eventually, over 20,000 pagans gathered together in support of paganism under the command of Malik bin Auf. The news came to the Prophet ﷺ that a large army was gathering outside of Mecca. He ﷺ sent a scout to confirm the news. Due to the geographical position, Taif could not be attacked with an army because it was at the top of the mountain and was not a plain area. So the Prophet ﷺ asked his friends for their advice. As war loomed on the horizon, the Prophet ﷺ strategically planned several steps ahead. It was expected that the Muslims would need to have new weapons in case the enemies lay the siege. Thus, he borrowed many weapons and armors from Safwan ibn Umayyah and Abu Sufyan. The Prophet ﷺ left Mecca on the 6th Shawwal and arrived in Hunayn on the 10th. There were around 12,000 people. 10,000 Sahabas and 2,000 from Mecca, most of whom were Muslims. Muslims reached the camps of Hunayn four days later at night. They prayed Salatul Aisha and one of the companions agreed to guard the camps overnight. The Prophet ﷺ gave him the good news of Jannah. Enjoying a head start, the enemy purposely selected Hunayn, a valley between Mecca and at -Taif that had a steep incline and several narrow points along the pass. Ibn Auf planned well and instructed archers to climb to elevated points. The tactic was to trap the Muslims into the valley, and once they were inside, the soldiers of Hawazin will pretend to be defeated, causing more Muslims to rush in. But when all the Muslims will come in between the mountains, the real attack will be launched. So the battle began, when hidden forces of Hawazin descended on the valley at the entrance of unaware Muslims. Arrows hailed upon them and the swords struck them. Muslims were not prepared for this sudden attack. It made them withdraw in haste. So they turned and fled in masses. Hundreds of Muslims were just running for their lives with no care for anyone else. This was deepened by many things. Number one, most of them were new Muslims. Some of them were not even Muslims yet. And number two, the surprise attack created a chaotic situation. The problem with arrows is that it comes out of nowhere. In this case, enemies were hailing arrows from the top of the mountain, which was difficult for Muslims to deflect. And number four, all of the 12,000 soldiers did not have the proper helmets and armor to defend themselves. And the Prophet ﷺ was almost left unguarded. Of course, he was still on his mule, but it's as if everyone was fleeing around him. He وسلم, was angry on this fleeing of the Muslims. He appealed them to come back. He remained firm with complete serenity. 
there remained only a few companions with him then he asked his uncle abbas to call the fleeing companions to retreat then when an adequate number of companions had gathered the combat between the two parties started afresh the prophet sallallahu threw some dust at the enemy that miraculously concealed their vision for a time the enemy was finally defeated allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had helped the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam with the angels to bring the hawazin to their knees the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam had given orders to the troops before the battle started not to lift their hands against defenseless people as the muslims gathered again and charged forward the pagans fled in confusion it appears they did not have any backup plan later the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam commanded the sahabas to pursue them to the valleys and mountains so they would not be able to gather again for a second attack the battle ended at hunain but several mini skirmishes followed afterwards in some of them major sahabas were injured and killed the battle brought forth the largest ghanima war spoils the muslims had ever conquered it was estimated that six thousand prisoners were captured with twenty four thousand camels and forty thousand goats it was a fortune the likes of which the muslims had never come close to and the prophet sallallahu gathered all the spoils of war in the valley called jirana with this we come to the end of today's episode inshallah we will meet next time and will discuss further about the post events of the conquest of mecca stay tuned and jazakallahu khair please don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our channel zil Nurain. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.